I only wish I could find the place where you are imprisoned so that I might set you free. Then I beg you again, be not fooled by appearances. Trust your heart, not your eyes, to show you the truth. Then, like all your wishes, this one too shall come true here. No! If you truly wish to find the prince, dear beauty, you must search in the place you would least expect him to be. I still don't understand. How? The place I would least expect him to be. Now, where could that be? Beauty thought and thought, but could not find the answer. Had the beast chained her prince in some dank and dismal dungeon beneath the palace? How could he be so gentle with her, and yet so cruel to another? Do you love me, Beauty? Will you marry me? No, Beast. You are gracious and kind, but I do not love you, and I will not marry you. Oh, very well. Then I shall go to be alone with my sorrow. But the Beast is not the only one whose heart is grieving. Far from the palace, in her family's dismal cottage, the merchant sinks deeper and deeper into despair. Darling daughter, will you ever return? He misses beauty terribly. If only she'd been less courageous. Courageous? Ha! Huh. How much courage does it take to go live in a palace? She wanted the beast's treasures all to herself. And father is wasting away with grief. As Beauty knew he would. They are right about one thing. If father is to get well, we must bring Beauty back to him. Take heart, father. We shall hunt down the beast and slay him. Beauty shall come home to stay. And so, Rene and Gerard rode the dark wood, armed with crossbow and sword, seeking out the beast. It seems hopeless, my brother. We've searched every inch of the wood. Can it be that this beast and his magnificent palace existed only in father's imagination? Perhaps in the storm and the throes of his grief, he saw an illusion. No, no. If that is so, then where did the stallion come from? And where could beauty have gone? The palace is real, and we shall find it, even if it takes an eternity. Such bravery, such courage. Who speaks? Show yourself. So you're willing to search for an eternity and die if need be to find this palace, eh? It is not we who shall die, old woman, but the bloodthirsty beast who holds our sister captive in his palace. <laughs> my, my. So it's not just a palace you seek, but a bloodthirsty beast as well. <laughs> You are brave, lads. Ah, she taunts us, Rene. I think she knows of the beast and where he dwells. Speak, woman. Tell us where the beast may be found. <laughs> Put your sword away, you foolish boy. I fear it not, and neither shall the beast. He and his riches are hidden from you by magic. Our father found the beast easily enough. <laughs> oh, did he now? Or did the beast find him? Why do you speak in riddles, old woman? What is it you know but will not reveal? Your father sought only shelter from a storm. Your sister sought only to save your father's life. The magic allowed them in because their hearts were pure. But you are filled with the thrill of adventure. Let it not overshadow the true purpose of your sister's beauty. If you still wish to find the palace, go that way. But no glory, no adventure awaits you there. Only the bitter taste of defeat. 
What was she? A witch? What if she spoke the truth? What if she did not? Are we to be frightened off by mere words, Gerard? No, not by words, nor by anything else. Let the beast work his magic. We shall prevail. To the palace, ride! Look, Gerard, the lights in the sky, just as father described. And then there, ahead, the gates of the palace. Show yourself if you dare! <laughs> <laughs>